Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. For today's video, I've had a lot of requests lately on to make some fat bombs for y'all. So of course, y'all know I'm gonna come through for y'all. Fat bombs are a great way to get in your fats throughout the day. Say you don't have enough room for another meal or you're not very hungry but you do wanna up your fats. Fat bombs are awesome to keep in the fridge and you just pop one in your mouth. They are so delicious and easy to make and it gets your fats in for the day. So for today's video, we are going to be making some keto cheesecake fat bombs. So let's get straight to the video. For our ingredients for our fat bombs today, you're going to want one eight ounce cream cheese softened. You wanna make sure it softens so it's easier to mix. You're going to want some butter or you could use coconut oil instead. Some heavy whipping cream, any sugar replacement that you want in the granular form, some vanilla, and right here are just some toppings I'm going to be using. I have some crushed walnuts right here and some Lily's salted caramel chocolate style. We're just gonna shave them down or you could use your chocolate chips. You could also use any preferred keto approved nut that you want to put on top of these. These are very simple and easy to make. All you're going to want right now is a bowl and a hand mixer. To your bowl, you're going to add your block of cream cheese, the eight ounces, and you do wanna make sure it's softened at room temperature. Then to your cream cheese, we're going to add one stick of butter, which is eight tablespoons. You wanna make sure this is softened at room temperature as well, so everything mixes together very easily. If you have it cold still, it's going to come out really clumpy, and not smooth, and it won't come out right. Add that to your bowl. Next, we are going to add four ounces of heavy whipping cream, which is eight tablespoons. Eight tablespoons going into the cream cheese and butter. All right, we have eight tablespoons of heavy whipping cream on our cream cheese and butter. Next, I'm just adding two teaspoons of vanilla. I already have one in there, adding another one adding some extra vanilla today to give it that extra vanilla flavor. So don't forget to add two teaspoons. Now for our sweetener, it's optional if you wanna add about two to three tablespoons depending on how sweet you like it. This pure sweetener is pretty sweet, so I'm going to be adding two tablespoons in. That's two tablespoons. Now, all you wanna do is mix it for about one to two minutes until it's nice and creamy and smooth. And after one to two minutes of mixing, it should look something like this. It should be very nice and smooth, whipped up. No clumps of butter, no clumps of cream cheese. Now, all there's left to do is put it in our cupcake tins and freeze them. This is a very simple, easy fat bomb recipe, guys, and it is full of flavor. So let's get to freezing these fat bombs. All right, guys, I have my mini cupcake pan right here. I have my cookie scoop. We're gonna start scooping our batter into each hole. Now, if you don't have a mini cupcake tin, you can still definitely make this recipe. You're just going to wanna freeze your mixture in the bowl, and then once it's done freezing, you could just scoop it out and roll it into balls. But I like to put mine in the cupcake tin just so it's already proportioned out and we have them nice and set in there. So I have it like this into my cookie scoop, my batter and you're just going to plop it right in the hole, just like that. Make sure it stays formed into a little ball. And it's as simple as that, guys. Look how great that looks already. And after we have all of these into our holes in our mini muffin tin, we are going to top them with our delicious toppings. It should scoop out very easily. You don't want it too watery. It should be a great consistency where it holds up by itself. All right, guys, I made 19 little scoops into my cupcake tin. Depending on how much you scoop out, it should make about 20. I was one short, but it's fine. So it should look something like this. And now we're going to take our delicious toppings. Before you freeze them, you wanna to top them so the toppings freeze onto your cheesecake fat bombs. 
I have some crushed walnuts right here that I'm going to be using. You can also um, crush up some pecans or any keto approved nut that you want to use on top of these. Go ahead and do that. You could also use some crushed up, I mean, some diced up strawberries, some free, you could freeze them and they'll be nice on top as well. Or some blueberries or red raspberries, whatever keto approved toppings that you want to put on these. I'm probably going to do half of these. I'm, I'm going to leave some plain. You can leave some plain if you just want them like that. Very simple. You only need a little bit right on top. Now I'm going to take this, this Lily's chocolate bar. This is my favorite chocolate. It's so good. And they have tons of different flavors that you could use or you could use their chocolate chips. I like to just take a piece and shave it onto, on a grater. And you have little nice chocolate shavings that you can put on top if you don't want to use like a whole chocolate chip. You just want them very light. Just like that. Very simple and easy to do. Mmm, these are going to be delicious. All right, just like that, I'm going to leave some plain cheesecake ones. But look at this, guys. This looks so awesome, so easy to make. I literally made these in under 10 minutes. So they're very quick and they are great to getting your fats throughout the day. So now all there's left to do is pop these in the freezer. I placed my cheesecake fat bombs in my freezer for up to 30 minutes or you can place them in your fridge for one to two hours to set. All right guys, my cheesecake fat bombs have been in the freezer for 30 minutes and they came out awesome. If you touch them, they should be nice and firm. If they're still soft, you wanna make sure you keep them in the freezer. But you could just take a spoon and they should pop right out. These are so delicious, y'all. They are so easy to make, and you will definitely get your fats in throughout the day if you need your extra fats, or they're just great for a quick dessert if you want that as well. This is what the inside of your cheesecake fat bomb will look like. They don't get hard, they stay nice and soft, and they are just so easy to eat, and they are full of flavor, guys. These are absolutely delicious. Question of the day, what will you be topping your keto cheesecake fat bombs with? Comment down below. All right guys, that was today's video of our keto cheesecake fat bombs. Those were so delicious and very easy to make. So keep them in your fridge guys, make these ahead of time and you will definitely get in your fats for the day. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome keto recipes and I would definitely be putting out some more fat bomb recipes for y'all to enjoy. And I will see y'all in my next video.